how I beat being fat. I won't like fucking bullshit around. I'm not here to sell you a course. I'm not here to fuck around and be like, oh yeah, but, uh, uh, you do these hyper isolation metric uh, fuck my ass exercises. Uh, and buy my two million pound course in the description below. It's, it's only a million dollars for a course, bro. Yeah, invest in yourself. I'll tell you how I beat being fat. And I'll tell you how I beat being fat very easily. You know this through. Consistent daily exercise. That's the truth. That's the unsexy answer. That most people are looking towards. I stuck to three exercises. Squats. Push-ups. And the basic pull-up. And I just bang these three exercises out. Usually more push-ups and pull-ups. I, I laid it out on squats, I admit the truth. Every time I would, I, my, my legs would start hurting, being sore, and I feel like I'm dying. Because, you know, leg day. I understood why people avoided leg day, because it was painful. It's kind of like, dehabilitating a bit. To see yourself not be able to walk. So people slack on that. Don't slack on that shit. I fell in love with these three exercises. And then, then after, I started making a routine of following that instead. And even now, I'll be honest with you, I, I just slacked slack on my fitness journey. I want to do work more. Work is more important to me. But before that, when I was fat, and I really, I, I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart, like, I looked down, I couldn't see my dick. I, could, I looked down and I couldn't see my manhood. You know how like guys that get castrated, or them cows that get castrated, they become like weak, feminine, kind of like insecure, just submissive. That's just what I felt. That is what I was feeling like 24-7. I was a prime example of femininity is encouraging men. And masculinity is encourage a woman. I like masculine women. I still do, kind of do. I'm be honest with you. Probably the way I'm brainwashed. Maybe it's just my type. But beyond that, I was a very, very feminine man. Feminine boy. I wasn't even a man. And it fucked me up. I beat being fat by consistent daily exercise. And beyond that, even a deeper, deeper level. It was an identity shift. I didn't want to see myself as a fat piece of shit anymore. I wanted to see myself as an athlete. And that subtle shift of seeing yourself as an athlete instead of a fat piece of shit that's always at home, it changes you intrinsically. And because of it, I could get into shape. But before that, I... It was painful. That raw masculine essence, masculine spirit of dominance, the masculine spirit to conquer, to achieve, to give back to your family. Like those, those were lost. All I was focused on was short term pleasure, short term lust. I don't give a fuck what people thought about me. I just want to fuck. 24 7 horny, giving into my emotions. Weak, weak man. And it was okay, it was normal. For the age, yeah, sure. This is not how it should be. Now losing fat is beyond just losing fat to me. It's just it's the idea of the fact that I can be disciplined, that I can be hard working, that I can be concentrated, I can be focused, I can do the hard work, especially if I don't feel like it. I can not live mediocre and I can not die mediocre. It was tough. I mean, the truth was tough. But it isn't tough to the point where like I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die if I hit a workout, and I'm gonna look better if I don't hit that workout. If I do hit that workout, <sighs> yeah, all my life I was fat. Oh, periods where I was skinny and skinny fat, but it's always been like a fluctuation of. Fat, skinny fat, fuck skinny, and then skinny fat again, and fat again. Even now, I, I admit the truth, I look puffy. 
I'm sick. I didn't hear a workout yet. But I've been active. I'm burning the sweat, so I feel much better then. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh my god! Deep.